Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's another video by Wretchens and Wrenches. Today I'm going to show you guys how to replace your windshield washer fluid pump and also how to diagnose the system to make sure that's what you need to replace. Okay, so first things first, we're going to pop the hood and uh, make sure we have enough uh, windshield washer fluid. Okay, here's the windshield washer fluid reservoir on this car, and uh, there's usually indicators on the sides. And uh, well, in this case, there is uh, there's a little float on there that you guys hopefully will see. But uh, I already checked, and there is a, I've got enough fluid in. Okay, so the next step is to put in your key, put the key in the ignition, and turn it to the on position. And then uh, lower your front windows. And with the hood up, you should be able to once you once you press on your uh, wiper switch, you should be able to hear the the windshield washer fluid pump kick in. And hopefully, you guys can hear it in the video. If uh, if all you hear is the wipers going back and forth, and you can't pick up any other noise, that means either your windshield washer fluid pump is bad or that uh, it's not getting power. Um, but if you do hear the pump, and you're still not getting any fluid out of the the nozzles, it means you're uh, your washer fluid nozzles could be clogged or it could also mean the pump itself could be clogged and obviously it could also mean that you don't have enough fluid in the reservoir so uh, if, if you get enough fluid in the reservoir it's probably there's a clog issue somewhere uh, but those are that's I would say is uh, like less likely scenarios okay first things we want first thing we want to check if uh, our pump is not working is to find the fuse that's uh, responsible for the pump getting power and uh, that is usually inside the cabin in your fuse box inside the cabin on different cars the fuse box is in different places sometimes it's on the side here sometimes it's underneath the driver's side uh, dash other times it's on the underneath the, the glove box on the passenger side on this car it's actually behind this little, uh, this little compartment here and we just pull this out and uh, we can actually it's got a little uh, guide on the back and uh, as you guys can see, it's uh, it's this fuse right here for the the front wipers. Um, you know, on this car, the the fuse for the wiper and the the fuel the, the the fluid the washer fluid pump is the same. So if this fuse goes, I won't be getting uh, my wipers won't be working either. But uh, on your car, it might be different. It might be different fuses for. Uh, for each. The way you want to check it is you want to get a fuse puller like this, find your fuse and pull it out and then let's see you want to closely inspect it make sure it's not burnt or uh, damaged anyway and uh, this fuse as far as I can tell looks good. Okay the windshield washer fluid pump lives at the bottom of the reservoir and in order to get to it, so we can test it for power, on this car it could either jack up the right side of the car up and then remove some of uh, the weather shielding under the right side fender and gain access to it that way, or we could remove this uh, right side headlight. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to remove this headlight and then uh, show you guys how to test it that way, especially since it's only held in by, in, by three bolts. This one, this one, and... Mm, that guy right there. Has just two connectors that for this headlight. I'm just gonna take those off and get this completely out of the way. Okay, guys, here's the connector to the windshield washer fluid pump. Just gonna press on this tab and pull, and it should come out. All right. Now that it's outside, we're gonna be probing these two uh, these two terminals. One is going to be for power, and the other one is gonna be for ground. So we're going to get our test light and test it. 
Okay, now that we got the connector out, we want to check for ground and power. Um, the way you check for ground is you connect your test light to the positive side of the battery terminal. And then you uh, find the, the ground on this connector, which is going to be this uh, black and red wire. It's usually just black, but on this car it's just black and white. I mean, I mean black and red. And then uh, once we probe it, we should get a light. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's kind of bright out today. But anyway, we can confirm that we get ground. Okay, next we want to test the positive side of the connector. Uh, if you don't have a helper, you can, or any way of back probing this connector, you can just do like me, which is uh, connect a piece of soldering wire, put it inside of the connector, make sure you get a good connection, wrap it around your test light, and connect the test light to the negative side of the battery or uh, good ground. Next, we're going to go inside the car and uh, make sure the key is in the on position and turn on our wiper switch. And this light should come on. Okay, a small correction on the last step. Uh, when I said to go inside the car and uh, turn on the wiper switch, I meant uh, the windshield washer switch, which is uh, usually, I guess, you just pull on the wiper switch and then. Uh, and then that's when you want to check on the check for power to this connector. And uh, so yeah, if you get both ground and power, and you couldn't hear the pump work, like we tried in the, earlier in the video, that means the pump is bad. So you gotta replace that. There's the pump in this car, which is pretty straightforward. You just push and pull on this thing, uh, and then uh, just disconnect that uh, the hose that goes into it. And then just make sure you put a catch pad underneath this reservoir, so it's it'll be easier to. Uh, so you will be able to catch all the the, the, the windshield washer fluid. So um, yeah, and then reinstallation is pretty much the reverse. And um, but if you but if you uh, didn't get ground to this connector, you want to just check the wiring around this around here. Make sure nothing has rubbed against any uh, sharp edges uh, and uh, cut the the wires. And uh, I guess you could always just, if you can't find anything here, you can always just cut this wire and then uh, connect it to a, to a good body ground anywhere here. But if you didn't get power, you want to go back and uh, double check on your fuses and uh, if your fuse is good, uh, go check the, you want to check, you know, your wiper motor connectors, uh, your relay or fuse to the wiper motor. Uh, but usually, you know, this, what we just went through is 95% uh, of the time all the stuff, uh, the test we did is going to solve your problem. Oh, and uh, earlier in the video I said there could be a clogging issue if you could hear the pump, but you're not getting any fluid out of the nozzles. Um, so in order to check to see if your nozzles all, uh, are uh, clogged up, you just go underneath the hood and uh, find the, the hoses that go to your nozzles here and uh, here. And then you want to disconnect it right before the fork. Just, uh, I guess, just you can just twist and Push, pull on this and it should come out then you want to test your um, uh, just uh, go inside the car and uh, turn on your uh, your washer switch and if uh, fluid squirts out that means your nozzles are uh, clogged up if it doesn't um, and you still can hear the the washer fluid pump you want to you want to go and uh, you gotta there's no choice but to uh, remove the pump and inspect it visually sometimes you know people with dirty water in the, in the reservoir and it gets clogged and uh, yeah, so uh, hope this video uh, helped you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, so let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Okay, so after editing this video, I noticed something. <laughs> when this tester was uh, inside of the, uh, the power terminal, well, supposedly the power terminal, and I uh, flipped the switch, it didn't come on. Well, after uh, doing some uh, probing and breaking out the multimeter, I realized this switch kind of works kind of funny or different from most cars. It, you know, it oscillates between the two wires. Uh, while the key is off, this red and black wire is uh, grounded. When when you press on the wiper switch, the red and black uh, wire gets power, and then the other wire is grounded, and that turns on the the, the your uh, windshield washer fluid pump, but uh, you know most cars it's just going to be a ground and uh, and the power wire power terminal, and then uh, you know if uh, that space you know it's simple to test it that way. You just uh, check for ground first on the back black wire, and then check for power uh, by putting your uh, test light in the power terminal and having a helper 
um, flip the switch inside. 